Today is Easter Sunday. Chinese, as I've said before, a little bit better. I like the word. It's called Resurrection Day. Resurrection Day. Resurrection means come back to life. This is the day that we remember the one who came back to life from the dead, Jesus. Uh, let's have a prayer. Father in heaven, we remember the work of your son today in this world. Please speak to our minds and our hearts today as we think about that. Help us as we determine to follow you as we want to follow you. But we need your help to do that. We ask for your help. In Jesus' name we pray. So I'm going to uh, follow along mostly today in the book of John. Uh, what, just to talk about what happened at that time when Jesus went to the cross. So I'm picking up in John 19. Finally, Jesus, finally, Pilate handed Jesus over to be crucified. And the soldiers took charge of Jesus. And Jesus, carrying his own cross, went to the place of the skull, sometimes called Golgotha. And there the soldiers crucified Jesus, and with him two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the middle. Pilate had prepared a notice and fastened it to the cross, and it read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. And many Jews read that sign because Jesus was crucified near the city, and the sign was written in Aramaic, Latin, and Greek. And the chief priests who were so anxious for Jesus to be crucified, they had a little problem with this sign. They said, no, 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 that's not right. Uh, don't write the king of the Jews, but that he claimed to be king of the Jews. And Pilate basically said, get out of here. <laughs> done what you wanted, don't quibble with details. What I have written, I have written. And when the soldiers crucified Jesus, you might imagine that as God, he, he could have called down the angels to save himself or punish those who were hurting him. But instead he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Um, 
um, being crucified, he, he was stripped naked. He wouldn't be needing his clothes anymore. The soldiers took his clothes and divided them among themselves. Near the cross stood Jesus' mother, his mother's sister. And two other women also named Mary. And when Jesus saw his mother there, and John writes, the disciple whom he loved, that would have been John. So when he saw his, his mother there, and he saw John, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to John, he said, Here is your mother. And from that time on, John took care of Jesus' mother. Then later on, knowing that everything had now been finished and so that scripture would be fulfilled, Jesus said, I'm thirsty. There was a jar of wine vinegar nearby. The soldiers put a, a sponge in it, lifted it up to Jesus' lips. That day, that day at noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three in the afternoon at that time, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He made two more statements right there at the end. He said, It is finished. He said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. He bowed his head and gave up his spirit. He died. Now it was a special time for the Jews among their uh, festivals. It was called the Day of Preparation and the next day was a special Sabbath. On the Sabbath, the Jewish leaders didn't want bodies left hanging on the crosses, so they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken down. Um, so the soldiers came and they broke the legs of the uh, men who had been crucified next to Jesus. But when they came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so they did not break his legs. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood and water. So Jesus died, was taken down, he was buried. And his disciples went into hiding. Uh, 
Their hope was gone. They didn't understand. The Sabbath day that was Saturday passed on, and on the first day of the week, when it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. Um, Oh, she, she went to the entrance of the tomb and she saw that the stone had been removed. This is unusual. Something's wrong. It's like you're the bank manager. You go to the bank and you walk in, open the door, and the safe door is open. Something's wrong. So she went running to Simon Peter and John and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we don't know where they put him. Well, what were you, if you were Simon Peter and if you were John, what would you have done? What would your reaction have been? Well, here they go. They so they see. Wow. Ran to the tomb. I don't know if John had longer legs or if he loved Jesus more, but he he got there first. But he's more cautious, you know, Peter's impulsive. John stopped at the door, Peter just boom, right in. <laughs> Peter bent over and looked at the strips of linen that were were lying there, there. Yeah. Peter came on, went straight in. Peter saw the strips of linen lying there, <coughs> as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. And the cloth was still lying in his place, separate from the linen. Finally, John, cautiously, I, I can imagine, finally he went inside. He saw and he believed. See, I don't think it was really until that point that they they understood that Jesus had to rise from the dead. He, he told them, but it hadn't clicked in their minds. I don't know if um, uh, you know this is an interesting difference between men and women. I'm not sure, but the 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 men, John and Peter, went in, saw Jesus went there, said, "Well, there's nothing to do here," and they they left. Very practical. They went back to where they were they were been staying. Mary didn't. Mary stood out this outside of the tomb crying. And as she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. I wonder if she went back and said, you guys should have stayed. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, but the, the angels asked Mary, woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. And at this she turned around and she saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know it was Jesus. She thought he was the gardener. She seems very humble. She says, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you've put him and I will get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned towards him and cried out, Teacher. Jesus said to Mary, Don't hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. Instead, go to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Now it doesn't say, but now I can imagine that Mary has a reason to run. So she went back to the disciples, and I can just see her running, with the news, I have seen the Lord. And she told them the things that Jesus had said to her. And on the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After this, he showed them his hands and his side, and the disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Jesus appeared to the disciples and others for 40 days and then ascended to heaven. That's the account we read in the Bible. I believe it's true. Now, if it really is true, this is some good news. This is good news for you, for me, for everyone in the world. Because we are sinners, we are separated from God, we're just like we're his enemies. God, by sending Jesus, chose to save us from the penalty of our sin, restore our relationship with Him, bring us back into harmony with God by making peace through Jesus' blood shed on the cross. Jesus says, Come to me, come to me. Do you want to accept this gift of salvation, the forgiveness of your sins, 
and be reconciled to God. If you haven't done so, I appeal to you today. Come to Jesus, believe in Him. Tell God that you will turn away from your sin. Join Jesus in his death, burial, and resurrection through baptism. Today, Esperanza has said yes, that she will make the pledge of a good conscience towards God through her baptism. Through her baptism, she will put to death her old self, rise as a new creation in Jesus. Sins forgiven and receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit. How about you? Um, talk to talk to us if you're you're you want to make that decision, make that step, talk to us.